So the further you start like this, and then you just keep counting fists down. You know, by the time you're almost to the bottom of the tap, you're pretty much not even using your arm that much. And then on uh, one arm chin, you want to face lengthwise in the bar, like this, so it doesn't hurt your shoulder, and then you rotate it. And then you just like, a, like a real explosive. Now you can do it, just hold that fire on the top of the top. If you can do this, you're probably ready for the next step. Want to try to see? Hold it there. Now start high in the beginning. And then, now just hang and keep your shoulder tight in the socket, right? Now rotate hard. Hey, that's it? You can do it, man. And then you just keep walking your hand down. And by the time you start getting to the bottom of the top, you're getting pretty close to the one arm chain. Nice. But I mean, how about, you know, you can't be helping yourself that much with a little talent. Oh, you're way stronger than your right side, huh? Yeah. See, my right shoulder's all jacked up, so it's hard for me to do something like that. But that's, that's how you do it. Like, this is good. Another way to do it is you can start here. And then you should go to here, and then here, and then here, and then here. By the time we're here, you're pretty much doing it. That's another way. Then I met this German dude, this 220 pound guy I met, this kid. He could actually do a one finger chin up. He also could do a one arm chin up while holding a 12 kilogram kettlebell in one hand. And the guy's body was 220. The guy's jacked. His system was, <laughs> he would just use fingers. Like he would use like these fingers, and then he would go to these two fingers, and one finger, and then these two fingers, and then the pinky. So he used like a finger thing. He got to the point where he, he wrote a whole one-arm chin-up course. He also uh, worked into one-arm handstand for 